Hello and welcome. This is Kushbu Bhatta and today we will learn how you can automatically send WhatsApp message to your customer whenever a column in your Google Sheet gets updated. Let's say you run telecom services and you want to send a WhatsApp message to your customer when the payment bill payment is due. And once they have made the payment, you also want to send them a WhatsApp mes message saying that the payment is clear. Now manually sending a payment due and a payment clear message to your customer every time a payment status column gets updated in your Google Sheets can be too much time consuming. So how about you try our Pavli smart way. Here we will integrate Google Sheets with WhatsApp all using Pavli Connect. So whenever a payment status column in your Google Sheets get, gets updated WhatsApp will directly and automatically send your customer the message. And don't worry, this entire automation process is so simple that it can even be done by a person of non-technical knowledge. You can find the workflows link below in the description box. Come to my screen to see how we do this. To automatically send a WhatsApp message when a column detail gets updated in your Google Sheets, let us first go to Pabli's website. For that, let us write p a b b l y pabli dot com. Now you can see the landing page of Pabli. On the top right, you will see two options: sign in and sign up free. Well, did you know that if you sign up for free, you will get hundred free tasks every month? So do not forget to sign up. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in. Pabli Connect. On the top right, you can see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name. We will simply write Google Sheets to WhatsApp create. Okay, it will show you two windows, trigger and action. Trigger is basically when this happens, action says do this so this entire automation would work on these two steps trigger and action let's understand this with an example for instance a sale is made a trigger could be when a sale is made action would be send a confirmation message to a customer or owner in our case it would be a trigger could be when a column detail gets updated in google sheets send a whatsapp message to a customer so let us click here for the trigger we will select google sheets now for the trigger event we will select new or updated spreadsheet row now you can see it has generated a webhook url a webhook url is basically a link that connects two applications so when we paste this link in the external software so it captures all the changes or updates happening in that external software and shows up the changes in Pabli, reflects those updates in Pabli. Let us see how. Let us just copy this. You can read these instructions to establish a connection between Pabli and Google Sheets. Now let me take you to, the, to my Google Sheet. So this was the Google Sheet that I had created. Here is, the, is, my, is my customers list. You can see the name of my customer, contact, email, the product customer is subscribed for, the bill and the payment status which says due. So now I want to establish a con connection between Google Sheets and Pabli. So on the top you can see extensions button. Let us click there. Here you can see Pabli Connect webhook. Now initial setup. Now let us paste this URL. Trigger column would be the column in which you want change. So I want change in my payment status. That is, that is the last column here. Therefore, I am taking trigger column as column F. If you want change in any other column, say column B, C or any other, you can write that. Now send test. Okay, it says data test data sent successfully. Now after this, let us click again on extensions. Now when you open the Pabli Connect Webhooks uh, drop down, instead of initial setup, which, which you have already done, just click on send on event. 
so what will happen is after this whatever changes you made anywhere in the google sheet pably will capture the response the updated response now let us go to pably and see if it has captured the response yes it has you can see the name is here customer's name contact number is here product the customer is using payment status is there which is due that means the customer sample demo has to pay rupees 700 for broadband services and so on so now on to the next step which would be action we will write whatsapp cloud api for the action event send template message so now we want to send a message to a customer saying that your payment status is due you you have to make a payment so that you can continue your services a reminder message basically so let us connect add a new connection here it will ask you for a few keys so for this let us go to developers page and here it is you can see my developers dashboard come to the left hand side and you will see whatsapp drop down click there getting started here you can see the te temporary access token copy it onto the pablis page and paste again to developers page you will read a note near this temporary access token which says the token will expire in 23 hours that means the workflow will also stop working after 23 hours but don't you worry we have an entire video on how you can generate a permanent access token you can take a look at the in the youtube we have a full video on that now again scroll down you will see phone number id copy paste it now it needs whatsapp business account id again on to developers page right next to phone number id you will see whatsapp business account id copy paste and save okay it says connected and now it is showing all the template names that I had created in my WhatsApp account. This in itself is a proof that the connection is successful between Pably and WhatsApp Cloud API. Okay, so I will select my template name that I had prepared for sending such messages. Payment status. So now this template message would be sent to the customer when the payment status gets changed. Or updated I'll I'll take you there here you can see the template message hi the user's name would come like you can see just a dummy name your payment or whatever amount for whatever product is the payment status will come due or clear so this message would be sent to the customer when a column gets updated now back to Pabli. now let us map in a few details so let us map the recipient's mobile number we will take it from google sheets here now you might think where are you getting these details from so let me take you in the first step to the first step you can see the response when we integrated pably with google sheets we captured this response so exactly it is this response that we will be mapping here now let us map in the fields body field one here it says dummy name let us see hi yes the customer's name would come here so let us again map it from here scroll down here i think the amount is showing up your payment of yes the amount is here your payment of rupees 700 here let us see it says book in example payment of amount for the product will come here so let's see what sample dummy sample demo was using they were using product named broadband now here is the payment status i guess you can see your payment of this okay here the payment status will come so as of now the payment status is due all right so we have mapped in these fields so you must be thinking what exactly mapping is so when once you have mapped in these fields say the name or the amount and so on so when next time a change is made in the Google Sheet or a row is added or a column is changed, 
these fields, the ones that we have mapped in like the name, amount, status, these will be updated automatically and you will not have to manually do it or write it here. So now let us just save and send test request. Okay, it says response received. Now let us go to customer's WhatsApp account to see if they have received our reminder message. So let us check. Here it is, you can see. Hi, sample demo. Your payment of rupees 700 for broadband is due. Remember these fields we, we had mapped in? Okay, so this means we have successfully established a connection. Okay, now let me minimize these. And what we will do is, we will go back to Google Sheets. And I need to show you, now when I make any change here, in the payment status because this was our trigger column that we had set column F. So whenever I make any change here, the WhatsApp message would be sent to the customer. So let's say sample demo has made the payment. The payment is clear. Let me write just clear. Sorry. Okay. And save. And refresh it once. Okay, it says clear. So now let us go back to the same customer's WhatsApp account and see if they have received an updated message where the payment status says clear. Here we go. And yes, you can see it says hi sample demo your payment of rupees 700 for broadband is clear. This means now you can automatically send a WhatsApp message when a column in your Google Sheets gets updated or changed. I hope this video was helpful for you. For more such videos, you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube. For further queries, you can visit forum.pabli.com and you can also check our pricing details at www.pabli.com.